Hey, hi everyone, welcome back to UiPath Tutorials. So today I'm going to show you one of the requirements where business wants when the bot sends out email to them, it should have approve and reject button inside the mail body so that they can directly click on the approved and the text get auto filled inside the body, subject in the two, similar way for reject also. Reject, if you see here, it get auto filled in the mail body as the request is rejected take actions so how this is exactly is happening let me show you uh, so just one more thing is you just ignore this particular design for now because the code that I'm going to show you right now if you use it as it is for the outlook emails it will work fine have a better design but yes I don't have Outlook install in my machine, so that's why I have used this SMTP mail messages. I've used the get password activity where I have put my account password, Gmail account password. This is just a string variable where I have defined here hi team. This is test email. Please take the action link. So if you see link, link anchor you see the link tag I'm going to replace this link with the original text where it is having the approve and the reject HTML text in it just below to it it is having the mail body dot replace I'm replacing link with the original HTML text where it is having approve and reject hyperlinks let me show you this particular code into the notepad uh, how exactly it look like not bad mm -hmm. so this is the mail body here from here it is starting and this is the anchor tag which is starting from here let me break down this particular portion so that you can understand it easily Yes, so you say it is start so reject approve part start from here and here and reject part start from here and here. You can define the style here like background color, font size, padding, colors, decoration, text decorations, and in href you have to define the mail to subject in the body. So mail these are the variables basically I have created. You can create in the assets or you can create in the config wherever you want it. Right now I have created as a variable and I have put the hard coded value to these uh, variables. Similar way for reject part also mail to subject and the body. Okay, as I told you, I have defined the text here subject as a take action. This will be used for both approve and reject. You can create two different variables if you want that this that in the approve it, they should be written as a reject take action rejected and in the approve case it should be written as approve it depends and I have created two for the body and uh, for the approve and for the reject I have used this SMT mail message to send the email I'm not going to explain everything here because if you want to watch how to send email from the Gmail that you can watch my one of my video I have already created for it just let me give you the overview like I give the port number smtp.gmail.com mail body mail subject and the email and this is the account basically from where the email is sending out yeah that's it now if I am going to run this this particular code will give me X, this particular mail where it is having auto filled values as approve and reject if you see I have already shown the variable I have given as a take action as a subject the request is approved request rejected all the similar things are coming here on the clicks so this is something very interesting where you can use in use in one in any of your process where the business wants that it should have approve and reject button in the mail body and definitely i think we don't have voting type of things the uipath 
has not given right now it we don't have any activity for it but yes maybe in the future but yes you can use this for now if you have any issues you can directly comment on my video and thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks everyone take care